Hello friends, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you something really cool, awesome, oh man, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so let's get started. So this is LARPS, this is created by Luke Smith and this is basically an authorized bootstrapping script. I just read what he wrote here. So basically, uh, it's a script which install your Arch Linux and it also writes everything. It installed DWM and all the tools which Luke Smith like because it's written by Luke Smith and I want to say that you should not use it. Okay, just make your own LARPs. Don't use someone else, uh, you know, dot files and stuff like that. Uh, but you can donate him. He did a really awesome job. So the thing is that I did create something like this for my own. So it it is something which I always wanted to do because I used to delete my hard drive like every month. Okay, so I have one hard drive in my laptop, one hard drive in my SSD, not uh, not like old school hard drive. So in my PC and in my laptop. Okay, so I used to delete, wipe everything because I find it very, you know, uh, clean. I don't know why, but yeah so this is me so what happened after i delete my hard drive is i have to you know install everything again which sucks uh, because in my system as you can see like everything is like self-customized so uh, i need to have a dot files you know i need to have my old own builds and everything so i don't really have to patch dwm again and again and do all the stupid stuff you know again and again because i spent so much time you know doing the same st steps like over and over i'm installing nvidia package over i'm installing fonts over and over so this is so like oh god i can't you know do this okay i wanted a solution for myself so i i did this okay so now look at my dot files oh my god it's so it's so not messy if i do wc hyphen l it's just 21 files and you know before this thing which i did which i'm about to tell you in this video before this thing uh, it used to be very messy, you know, so many files. Oh my God. But now look at this. It's so clean. You know why? Because I wrote this. Arch Linux magic. Now I wrote this earlier. So it was a script to install Arch Linux in my computer. But now I updated it. And what I did is I edit this part here, part three, which is basically my post installation. And this do everything. And I also, you know, created my dot files. So let me show you. This is... This must be very confusing for you guys but uh, don't worry don't worry you're going to get everything so this is the repository which i created and these are my dot files and uh, as you can see it's not a lot but actually my system is way too minimal than larps or you know i i used larps not really just one day so i tried it and it was so complicated because uh, you know he did a lot of things in it but uh, my mine is very simple uh, don't use mine okay i i'm not saying that you should not make your own dot files you should always make your own dot file go make it right now uh, so as you can see like everything like i used to create l l aliases again and again and everything but now i don't have to because i have my dot files so let me show you like how to make these dot files so what i did is i opened the go and um, but right now i i accidentally opened google but at that time i opened the go and i searched like how to manage dot files okay and then you just open the third article i think this one and this guy okay so this blog helped me okay it was a very, pretty simple blog but after you know using this blog like reading this blog i realized this is the exact same content which you find on arch linux wiki okay so you can also use arch linux wiki if you like this a lot so here you can see so what you basically have to do is in your home directory let me close this script in your home directory you have to create a bare repository. What is bare repository? I don't know. Actually, I know, but it's very hard to explain. So if I do ls hyphen uh, al, as you can see here, there is this directory dot dot files. So this is like a dot git directory. Okay. So the, if you if I go into this directory, so this is like a dot git. And so what does that mean? That means that my whole home directory is a git repo. Well, uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, now you must be wondering like oh my god this is so messy like you created a you know git directory like you con converted your home directory into a git repository this must be so painful or you know stupid but in reality it's not because if you run this command uh, which is config now you must be wondering what is config it's an alias it's basically an alias of this git so what basically you do you first create this bare repository and then you create this LES to use this uh, beard repository. In my case, let me show you. In my case, it's in not local. It's in config shell uh, LESs. So here in my case, it's dots. 
So I use this command dots in order to look at my dot files. Uh, this must be confusing. Okay, so let's let's let me make things simple for you. Okay, just sit. Okay, so here as you can see, when you run this command, it's not going to show everything as a untracked file. In fact, it's going to allow you to add any file. So what I do is when I run dots status. So these are the files which are added. All right. These are some dot files. And if I go in my config and here, if I try go in my MPV, let's go in MPV and create a new file mpv.com. Why not? So um, something like OSD. Uh, I don't know. Let me open man MPV. Let's just write something in the MPV dot files. Why not? Oh, uh, something like, uh, let me try to find it. It's, it's for, I, I don't like the, you know, seek bar in MPV. So I'm going to just remove it. Uh, so I'm just looking how to remove it. It's, it's going to take, there are so many OSD. Oh God, wait, you know what? Uh, let's just write anything here. Okay. OSD, no OSD. I think no OSD is the command. No OSD. All right. So save it. And now if I run dot status. So here you, there is no MPV file. There is no MPV config, but I can just add it. Add dot config, not config. Yeah, config. So there is no tab completion. So MPV, MPV.com, press enter. And now if I run dot status, so there is still no, oh, okay, here, a new file, um, config MPV. Basically, you, you understand what I'm saying, all right? You're not, you're not dumb, I hope. Or you can just read this, all right? So basically, this is how you can make your dot files, okay? Uh, it's not a tutorial. Every time I fail to explain, I just say it's not a tutorial. So you you can look into my dot files and I'm telling you this because this is what I did. I looked into void rice of Luke Smith and what I did is I learned from his dot files and I learned like how he used to manage his dot file. It was pretty confusing because you know, everything is just un interconnected, but you have to do it. For example, he have this link for his X profile. Now, I don't know why he have link for his X profile. What I did is in my, in my dot files, I have link for Xnet RC and in his X profile, by the way, since it's a link. So as you can see, this is the location. So if you go to config and then X11 and then profile, it's pretty simple guys. It's pretty simple. So he's just running the programs, which he want to run in the starting and God, he have so many shit here. All right, so if I go in my, you know, Xnet RC, like if I open my Xnet RC, which is actually in this location, okay? So let's just go in that location. So config X11 and then open Xnet RC. So here you can see that um, this is the programs which I'm starting. So what I did is I started the programs indirectly in Xnet RC and not some X profile. I don't know why that file exists. I'm still learning, so yeah. So this is uh, the trick he used in order to, you know, reduce the number of files here because links are not files. Actually links are files. I, I don't know. So you know what? This is it. Now let me show you the script. So the script which I wrote. So Arch Linux magic. So let me show you like how this script actually works. So first is it installed Arch Linux and let me tell you the backstory of the script. So one day I was just sitting and I was just making notes for the, all the commands which you need to run in order to install Arch Linux. And then I realized that, wait a second, I can just make it executable and boy, this is a script. <laughs> so, okay, this is stupid. All right. So as you can see that these are basically all the commands which uh, I run. So this is a pretty minimal script. If you look at Lars script, like let me run this. So curl, curl Lars dot X, Y, Z. And uh, I think less, uh, I think the Lars dot S. All right. So, uh, okay. What is the script name? I don't know. Uh, let me, let me. Let me look at the script. Uh, okay, so this is the script. Uh, all right, so I, uh, you know what, I sh Okay, why the fuck? You know what, let's just, let's just do this. What? He moved it? He moved it. Is it, is it not working? Why, why this have to, okay, this is working. It's just, it's just my fault. Okay, large sort of say. So here, as you can see, this script is a mess. So I'm not saying that it's a bad script. All I'm saying is that, in fact, he created a function. So it's not as mess as, um, like, 
But the thing what I'm trying to say is that you should use something which is more easy and understandable to learn and then create something of your own. So I, I you know, I never reverse engineered this script or, you know, try to understand it. Uh, but, you know, I prefer more minimalism than like okay so let's just get back to this script again so it's just running the all the commands and here i'm doing some yes and no question like asking for a, like partition and stuff did you create your any efi partition i want to make it more user friendly but uh, i am not very friendly so uh, all right so let's just uh, so here i did something really clever okay it's not clever it's actually pretty hacky and stupid but i i like it so uh, i will say, tell you that this is clever so what I did is here I ran a set command and this is just going to print whatever below the part two. So whatever below this string. Okay. So basically this, so whatever below this uh, part two is just going to get redirected to this new script arch uh, install two dot sh, which I'm creating in my new fresh arch installation. And then I'm making it executable. Then I'm rooting and just running the script. And then the script exit here. All right. So basically I, in the real time, I am creating a script out of this script and then I'm running that script. Uh, oh fuck. So, and this is not it. This is not it. When I finish my, you know, this section here. So, you know, clock and everything, uh, local gen and everything like, um, you know, host name and everything, password and everything, um, and all the grub and everything. So here you can see that, um, not here. Actually, I installed all the programs here. So this is the Pacman command and uh, some more shit, which you have to do here. You can see that again, I'm making a new script, which is a part three script out of the Arch 2 installation and just, you know, putting it in this uh, path here, which is a home directory of the user, which I just created. And then I'm giving the ownership and, you know, making it executable and then I'm running it as the user. Okay, so this is, this is pretty crazy, but yeah, I like it. So this is something my own, and this is what I want to tell you that create something your own. Okay, so make your own dot files. And let me tell you all the GitHub, uh, you know, sorry about the noise in the background. So let me tell you, okay, this noise is still coming. So let me tell you about all, all the GitHub uh, repository, which you need in order if you just want to use all the suckless tools like DWM, STD menu and, you know, uh, some other if you want. So here uh, I have this repository, which is my DWM build. This is my ST build. This is my D menu build, which is not my actually. It's just a fork from Luke Smith and same for ST. And uh, this is my own. Okay. So it's not like I just, okay. So sorry about the uh, background noise. That's why I don't record in the daytime. So many people ask in comment section why you don't record in the daytime. So yeah, after that I am, I got this Emacs. Uh, Emacs, you know, config and it, this script just do everything, whatever I had to do, like installing all my ZSH and everything. And I, I managed to get Pyball everywhere. I love Pyball. So here, if I run Emacs in, even in Emacs, like I have Pyball, this is the evolve script, which I'm using. So I just love this. Okay. I just love this. I have less number of packages. That's it. This is, uh, this is the worst video I ever recorded. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine.